Once again this morning on 13 News This Morning by Miss Charlene Patton with the Kansas Soybean Commission. And we've already made one thing this morning in the yeah. 5 o'clock hour. It's the 6 o'clock hour now. Next week, which we've got the Kansas State Fair starting, yes. but you guys will be there on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. And we're making what that you want to share? We are going to do some of the favorites from the Kansas Soybean Commission. Yeah. So come and learn more about soy foods. We'll be in the Domestic Arts Building. And we have free recipes. We have a free gift for everyone that they can fun. use in their kitchen. Oh, and it's going to be, be a surprise. Fun. And we, we, we know what it is. Yeah, That's yeah. good. <laughs> so, yes. Come join us, and if you want details, go to the KansasSoybeans.org when you get look up the, our recipes. Okay. Today it's National Breakfast Month. Yep. We are making a cherry walnut coffee cake. It will mm -hmm. melt in your oh, mouth. Good coffee cake. It is not so in your hands. not in your hands. <laughs> it is so delicious, and you can see we're going to have different layers. I put this little piece up there so you could look see every bite will have the wonderful flavors of this. One of the things I was telling you ahead of time, it'd be kind of nice to do, because there's a lot of steps with this. Mm -hmm. You could make the streusel topping okay. ahead of time. Mm -hmm. You could make the cherries ahead of time. Okay. And then you're all ready to put it together. So you have the uh, streusel topping that I did in the food processor, mm -hmm. and you have some of the toasted walnuts here, and you're gonna kind of blend that together. Okay. You are gonna do the step for me that is our liquid okay. ingredients. We've got um, soy sour cream in here here which makes this such a moist coffee cake three eggs and you're going to add some soy vanilla milk to it and okay. some more vanilla oh to this yes okay. yes you do that in here i have my flour and sugar boy i'm keeping everybody busy today i know right? it's, taken, it's taken three of us to do <laughs> this right. and i just added our baking soda baking powder and a little salt and I'm going to add now our margarine, and that's our other soy product. There are a lot of soy products in this particular one. Okay, and then using a, a pastry blender, we're just going to cut that margarine in. Okay. And I've got... Um, really 12 tablespoons I think this is going to make a coffee cake that really serves about makes 16 servings oh, wow. so it makes a big it's one it's for a party it is it is it would be breakfast plus an after school snack <laughs> for yeah. your girls okay so I would do this a little bit more if I was at home to make sure. it nice and crumbly but we're going to just keep going so everybody can see how we put this together all right you're going to add your liquid I'll let you pour okay. that right I in also, there. <laughs> I also left some for Crosby the Pug on the floor. Sorry, I was making fun of Raina earlier because she... It's hard with the liquid. It <laughs> is. That's why when I cook, I have to get like a giant bowl because yes. I get a little too... Well, you know, we always talk about that with kids. Use a bigger size than what you would really plan on doing. Okay. But it's good you, anytime. Did you hear that? <laughs> no. With kids, we use a bigger bowl. With Jared, we a, need to, too. It's just a good practice because look how big my bowl is. And just to save on space up here because we yep. had so much going on, I used a smaller bowl. But you did a great job. Great job. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? Not really, but thank you. You're so kind. <laughs> Okay, now I have greased a 10 inch uh, okay. spring form cake pan. Now, we are going to put half of this in here. Okay, does can, it need to be spring form? Because I gotta say, I really have never heard of that. Yeah, and the reason it's because uh, this comes loose. And oh, then, like expands? Yeah, well, oh, okay. To, to remove this when it comes out of the oh. oven and then see it pops off and oh, makes okay. it really easy. That's but good. yes, you could do this in probably um, two nine inch cake pans okay. if you wanted to do that. So now I, you can see that we have a little bit of flour there, but I want to show how we do this okay. because this is what makes this recipe really unique. We put half of it there mm -hmm. and then Raina, you are going to just sprinkle half of that wonderful streusel mixture over this. Okay. So you can see that we put it up there. I'll kind of do that so everybody can see. And then um, this is brown sugar, flour, and cinnamon. Good job. Okay, so we'd spread it out a little bit so that it is in every bite. And then, Jared, you've got our cherries. Yeah, I do. Yes, and this is just a can of char tart cherries. 
with two tablespoons of sugar and two tablespoons of flour blended mm. in that helps thicken it. Does all of it go in there? Yep, or half? Yeah, all of it. Oh, all of it. Okay. You put all of it there. Great. Those cherries look yummy. Isn't that wonderful? You want me to save you one? <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. And then, just like we did with Raina's, we'll just spread that over so that there's cherries in every bite. Then we take the rest of the batter uh -huh. and put that in on there top. on the top. Yes, we'll we're do layering. That. We're layering yeah. that way. The goodness is in every bite, and then Raina is going to top with the rest of the streusel. Okay. So then we have it on top as well. And again, you would take a little bit more time and help get that all spread out. We're just giving you the idea so that you can see you <laughs> very good, Raina. <laughs> yeah, good job. <laughs> then that goes in the oven. It bakes at 350 degrees okay. for, get this, one hour and then 10 and or 20 more minutes. Use a wooden pick and make sure that it's done in the center. Oh, wow. But look, let it cool. And then Jared, see this snap here. You okay. you yeah. release that. There's okay. You release it and once then once it cools down. Once it cools okay. down, I would take a knife and go around it to make sure right, it's so that it loosens it. Yeah. But then lift it off and you have this wonderful so coffee cake. Wow. Cream. Yes. That's I great. wondered how I don't know. <clears throat> I, I'm not much of a chef, so that makes a lot of sense to me. So go to our website at yep. kansassoybeans.org. You'll get the recipe for the banana muffins that we did earlier and this wonderful cherry walnut coffee cake. Perfect. Thank you so much, Charlene. Well, stay with us because we're back right after this.